What's the yeah. worst contract on the 49ers books? For Bobby the Gold. Okay. Okay. Why? First of all, kickers. Yes. Why? Don't Why? need them. Don't need yeah. them. You know, we, we should be moving in. Uh, it, it, the big brains that should be moving forward in this league should be going forward on almost every fourth down anyway. Yeah. Here's a kicker who can only make kicks from the 25, 25. 25 to 45-yard variety. Yes. Let me also remind you that a kicker held out. Yeah. I don't want to sign a franchise tag. I want to go back to Chicago. Kickers don't matter, have never mattered, and at the rate that he makes kicks that everyone else, the league average makes, it makes no sense. And then you double down and you – Put him on another contract for two to three more years where it's hard for you to get out. It's a bunch of dead cat money. Here's the other arg argument. Does everybody forget that Chicago completely ran Robbie Gold out of town because he couldn't make kicks? That's true. And then he shows up to San Francisco and he can make kicks. Here's yeah. the thing. That's my point. One year, you could literally make every single kick. The next year, you could make no kicks. Yes. Kickers don't matter. Punters don't matter. Get yeah. them off NFL rosters. There. Done. <laughs> that's a really good one. I like that rant. I was going to go bigger, though. I mean, I know he, you want to go bigger, but I, I, just I was going to go that off bigger. My chest. I wasn't going to say Jimmy because the contract is actually good. It allows them to move on. They just won't. I don't have a problem with that contract. I mean, it was a r ridiculous at first to give him that signing bonus and all that money up front to someone who had proven nothing. But at this point, they can move on. No questions asked. That's not the issue. The issue is they're cowards. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no, it's it's they don't have a better option. Right exactly. And, yeah, they don't have a better and, option right now. And honestly, let's just let's just keep it a buck. This 49ers team with this roster, everybody healthy, everybody playing can win 10 games, 11 games easily and be in the playoffs, with, especially when seven make it easily. You know, when you start to look around the NFC, you start to look at, well, who's dangerous? I know we want to wait until the draft and things like that. But again, Jimmy Garoppolo's contract doesn't jump out to me because there are outs on it. So that one's not the one that I would have thought of. I know what the one you would have thought of. I mean, so come on I'm with it. I'm going with two, and I don't really know. Uh, it's going to play itself out down the line a couple, two, three years. But Eric Armstead, Trent uh, Trent Williams, given all that, given quarterback money to a 33-year-old left tackle, uh, given borderline quarterback money to a run-stuffing rotational rusher, uh, I think the Niners are going to end up regretting those two. But – I don't know. I mean, I'm projecting. I'm guessing. They might end up regretting George Kittle if he misses eight games a season. Who knows? Right now, I'm going to go with the big dogs at the top. Uh, but let's switch it around and be positive for a second. Hold on. Sean says, I think in Kyle's past life, he did some stuff and has some bad luck. What's our cap now? Mortgaging future, about $13 million left. How much cap with no Jimmy? No cap, cap with no Jimmy, you create $24 million more. $24 million. Dollars. It's, it's yep. significant. 